What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on Midwest Van Life. Today, me, Morgan, Keith, we're gonna go across Tampa Bay by the Sunshine Bridge. We're gonna go into Manatee River. Let me show you something really quick. What's going on everybody? Okay, so check out this app. This is really cool. I got this on my computer right now just because I'm using it uh, there. But uh, So this is called Navionics. Um, it's a software that gives you all the charts. It's basically like Google Maps, but for boating. So it gives you all the charts and depths for the water. And you really got to watch it down here in Florida because, well, you have... It's, it's not like lakes. It gets, you got sandbars everywhere. So if you don't pay attention, you know, you could run your boat aground. So what's cool about this app is uh, you can set these markers. That's this uh, purple deal here. And I set my route, right? So here's Tampa Bay. Here's St. Petersburg. And over here is the uh, marina I got the boat at. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch the boat and we're going to go across all the way. We're going to take the ICW all the way to basically to the Sunshine Bridge, which is right here. We're going to go across Tampa Bay, right, all the way to the entrance of the Manatee River. And we're going to take the Manatee River all the way down and all the way up to about here. And there is a bar called Woody's right here we took the motorcycles there a couple years ago really cool bar so we're going to take the boat there and then we are going to take the boat back um we're probably going to take a little bit of a different route there's a little channel right here so we're probably going to take this uh channel here and go through all this and go out this way so yeah uh this is about 23 miles total so times two because we're going back so just about 50 miles we're going to do on the boat today. So yeah, check this out. It's nice and warm up here. I love it. We gotta check on the boat though. Morgan, can you check on the boat? It's okay. good. It's good. It's right. good. It's good. It's, good. Right. it's, good. it's, it's still there. It's still so. there. It's above water. Sunshine Skyway Bridge. So the other day we were on the boat, as you can see, and uh, we came across these guys uh, where their motor was not working properly. Uh, we were on the ICW, just kind of hammered down. We were just going. And Morgan spots them. Uh, looked like it looked like they were beach. So we, uh, I came around, came up to these guys, and I could see exactly what was going on. His dog clutch was not engaging in his outboard motor. 
I just happen to know it because I've worked on them before. So it looked like ex exactly what I thought. So he was kind of dead in the water. These guys were, I don't know, I don't know exactly where they're from, but they had really broken English. It was hard to understand them. But I'm like, hey, you guys okay? You guys good? And the guy's like, ah, oh, no, no, I'm dead. You know, dead. I'm like, are you dead in the water? Are you dead in the water? And he goes, yeah. Well, turns out they launched right at the same park that we launched at. Um, we didn't launch at O'Neill's Marina. We went around to the park. It's easier uh, with, for me and Keith. It's a big park, nicer launch and everything. And since we had Morgan there, we just go there. So I, uh, so we towed him in and that's the, here's the footage. As you can see, we just used a rope around the cleats there to, uh, to pull him in. It was pretty nice. It worked out really well. So what I want to say here, it's like a rule. It should be a, a common rule, and it's amazing how many people out there see someone in distress on a boat and just go right by them and don't care. And anytime you see somebody out on a boat, especially in the ocean where there's tides, never, ever, ever leave them behind. That's like a golden rule for me. When I see someone waving or just uh, if they look like they're in distress... I always check up on them. Another thing that we do uh, when we see other boaters is we always wave. Not just because, you know, I just want to wave to them. Uh, the reason we do it is, for one, to make sure he sees me, especially when they're coming head on or they're coming this way or, or it could be a collision. I'm always waving so they see me. Also with bigger boats, too. If I see a bigger boat, I'm passing them. I'll just kind of wave, you know, he, he waves back, all is good. Second reason why we wave is to make sure they're okay. Especially if they're not moving. You wave and they wave back, everything's good. But if you wave and they're like, help me, help me, then obviously you know something's wrong. So it's just kind of a rule of thumb in boating. You know, you wave to everybody. And if you see someone in distress, you help them out. So that tow took maybe 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, had they called a tow boat, uh, there's, I, think, I forget exactly the numbers, but I think it was like two to $300 an hour from the moment the tow boat leaves the dock to the moment they're back. And there's like a three hour minimum or something like that. After, I don't know if this, I could be totally wrong. I just remember looking into it and it was something of that nature. So that would have ended up costing them God knows how long or God knows how much, you know. Uh, luckily they weren't too far from the dock. It was like 20 minutes, maybe a half hour of towing them back. Actually, maybe a little longer, I don't know. But the tow boat would have started charging from the dock to the moment they got them, to the moment they, they got back to the dock. So always help out your fellow boaters. So anyways, I just had to throw that out there. So uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for riding along with us. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Keep it simple. Keep it real. And if you made it this far, you're the weirdo, not me. Yeah, I'm saying that in like every video now. Anyways, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.